So, recently I have been asked by my dad to make a recording of why I would like to be this person. Now this person in question, his name is Stephen Hawking. He is a brilliant English physicist and scientist uh, and mathematicist. <laughs> um, and he may, he's most known for his A book and um, B famous theory on black holes and mainly how they may emit radiation and also may or may not turn you into Swiss cheese once you get sucked into them. Uh, that was known as, bluntly, the Hawking Theory, also known as Hawking's Radiation. Uh, as per egotistical all uh, scientists go, they name their theories or scientific discoveries after themselves or a close family member. I don't know whether it's because of their ego or just the lack of better names. I don't know, maybe somebody could have named it the Genital Theory. I'm a teenager here, that's the best I could think of. So, the main reason why I would like to be Stephen Hawking is, um, he doesn't have a body. He's, he had a disease where over time his body would slowly become more and more crippled. Now, someone might say, well, you should be happy with your body. There's some kids who have that disease and they don't like that disease and it's not fun. And to them I reply, well, first, that disease has been eradicated, uh, and for the most part. And second of all, I, if I should be grateful that I should have my own legs, then take my legs. I am not grateful for my legs. Just take them, give them to said child, we'll both be more happy. Second, fancy ass wheelchair with the best voice I have ever seen that's controlled by doing that. Just moving your eyebrows in slightly seductive ways. He could talk in what is now known as the Strawberry Clock Voice. Now, the Strawberry Clock Voice is known on new grounds, but it's basically that really monotone voice that speaks in broken sentences. But it's the best they could do at the time. Now, the third reason that I would really like to be Stephen Hawking is he's freaking English. Whoever has an English accent, immediately that makes you sexy. It doesn't matter who you are, accent. Also beards. Uh, that's just my preference. Um, anyways, he's English. Who? What American doesn't praise the English? They are much smarter, a lot more fit, and can drink at 16. And everything. <laughs> Apparently, I can't use my hands either. He also, aside from being him, now moving on to other people, worked with a lot of other great scientists and mathematicians, which I'm actually thoroughly interested in and would have liked to meet and work on projects with. I would probably seem like a lobotomized ant to them. I guess ant isn't the right word, because ants are actually kind of smart. Uh, I would say like a lobotomized, I don't know, fly, I guess. Flies are already pretty dumb as they, uh, as is. You see them bumping into windows and stuff when the window right next to it is open. Uh, so like a, a lobotomized fly. That clip was made years ago. I've kind of raised my children with YouTube and the internet. I believe in YouTube. I believe in the internet. I believe in computers. I don't think kids need to be kept off phones. So I raised my kids that way. And my son is now almost 18 years old. But he still is convinced that if he could take off his head and remove it from his body and not have to deal with a body anymore, uh, he'd like that. It's kind of like Wally. Isn't Wally that cartoon where the fat people ride around in these things in the future and they just keep eating? My son doesn't want to keep eating, but he lives and breathes what happens on the internet. His friends are Croatian and Russian and Japanese. Friends. These friends he's never physically met, but they're friends to him, and I accept that. To change in the generation from we used to, as everybody's writing in the 1950s clips I put up, play outside. Well, he's not playing outside, but he's sure living an exciting life, and I thank him for making this clip for me.